logging in the miles. I'm gonna go for three to four miles today. Let's go for it. Okay, little update here. Let me just kind of tell you about comfort zones and we're the comfort zones. So how sometimes we get into these just comfort areas. Um, so today I'm attempting to do three to four miles and I decided to start from a different different point along the, the path that I usually run. And let me tell you, it's tough because I got used to starting from a different level, a different area, and so your body gets used to it. And when I started running right now, a quarter of a mile into my run, I started feeling really winded. And so that means that I started off too early, way too fast. But now I'm backing off a little bit and I'm going, I started a point where it's pretty much an incline, a steady incline. And so what I need to do, and one thing that started freaking me out, I was like, oh shoot, am I gonna be able to finish? And one thing that I keep thinking about over and over is a lesson that I've learned through some of the past trainings that I've had is that number one, yes, you can finish. But number two, you need to leave the ego at the door and slow down, slow down enough to catch your breath, slow down enough to let your body catch itself and just get it done, get the miles in, regardless of how you do them, whether you finish running or walking, the point is getting the mileage done. And so I thought I'd stop in, kind of share that with you because mentally that's a challenge that I'm having to face right now at this moment and how important it is to not let go, not give up, just keep pushing, whether it's running or walking. I may be doing a lot of walking, but uh, that's okay. Let's get it done. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I managed to finish uh, four and a quarter miles. So today was a success in my book. It was tough and I can tell you that there's a lot of different factors of why it was tough not only was the course that I ran today tougher than well not necessarily tougher but I could tell you that it was different and I didn't I didn't really take that into account when I started running as I've already mentioned so I went I went out there just jogging like I normally do and realized real fast that I was pushing myself harder um, given the, the incline that I had to deal with for a good mile and a half. So it was in, I was running on an incline, I don't know, maybe like a six, seven percent, not sure exactly, but I'm just guessing right now given given what I had to deal with and um and yeah that that made it tough um I will tell you that I um I had something to eat which I normally don't I typically train fasted but last week I um actually had a banana and a little bit of food before I came out running and I feel like that really helped me for some reason I don't know mentally um I think it really worked so today I tried doing the same thing I had some oatmeal about 30 to 45 minutes before my run and 
I didn't have any issues. It was fine. And um, I hope that that also helped me um, because I did have, I didn't, never felt like I was running out of energy. Now, what I did feel with today's run is that the sun was starting to get to me. So the heat was definitely starting to become a factor. I think that more so than than anything um, and the incline. I think those two were the factors that were affecting my mind. Um, but again, I didn't quit. I kept going and I'm glad I did just because it's a matter of really training your mind to, to control your body. Remember, it's mind over body for the most part and, um, and it really, really paid off. So I'm glad to say that uh, I wrapped up the week um, with four days of running and four days at the gym as well. So, um, keeping strong and, uh, building up my cardiovascular endurance as well. So all in all guys, successful week. Let's, uh, let's see what next break bring. Let's, let's, let's relax. <laughs> um, I probably won't be running tomorrow. I'll be taking Monday off and then but I will be going to the gym and uh, then starting back up on Tuesday. I'll see you. Talk to you soon.